When you attack Zinedine Zidane, you're attacking the entire French footballing landscape. And that's why Kylian Mbappe felt the urge to spring to the legend's defence after comments made by Noel Legrette, the president of the French Football Federation. On Sunday, Legrette appeared on RMC Sport after it was announced that Didier Deschamps would be remaining as the France national team manager until 2026. Deschamps' previous deal had finished after the conclusion of the 2022 World Cup. So two distinct possibilities remained. Either he continued in that role, or Zinedine Zidane took over. Evidently, Legrette opted for the former. And quizzed on whether Zizou had got in touch, Legrette had this stinging response. Did Zidane try to get in touch with me? Certainly not. I wouldn't have even picked up the phone. To tell him to find a new club? Commission a special program so he can find a new club or national team. Legrette's going on as if Zidane is on the doll. But had he forgotten what Zidane had done in his career? Nevertheless, he continued his tirade. Move on? I'm not sure what you're trying to imply. I always knew Zidane was on the radar. Let's make no mistake. He had a lot of supporters. Many expected Deschamps' departure to precipitate that. But who can really doubt Deschamps? Nobody. You can always lose a match, but it's been 10 years that I've been working with him. There haven't been many losses. You know that creates a story. Journalists then probed him on the possibility of Zidane to be the next Brazil manager. A question which prompted this response. Zidane to Brazil? I don't know. That would surprise me. He does what he wants. That's nothing to do with me. I never met with him. We never thought of parting with Didier. It's got nothing to do with anything. Some journalists need to twist things or make things up because they don't know what to write. And they prefer to say bad things rather than good things. Zidane to Brazil? I don't give a toss. He can go wherever he wants. He can go wherever he wants, to a club, to a national team. I don't pay much attention to things that concern him. But what concerns him concerns France. And in France, he boasts a legion of supporters. And Kylian Mbappe is one of them. The PSG star did not hesitate to spring to his defence. Zidane is France. You don't disrespect a legend like that. It was a poignant intervention given that Kylian Mbappe is one of the current stars of the French national team. And it's not the first time that he's come to blows with Le Grayet. There was the infamous row over imaging rights. And the fallout from his decisive penalty miss in Euro 2020 where he expected more support following the racial abuse he received from fans. But Mbappe is not the only member of the wider French footballing community to have reacted. Franck Ribéry also took to Twitter. You've got to be joking. However, you're going to want to consider consulting soon. Gibril Cissé then waded in, posting a photo of him grimacing along with the caption, me when I heard Legrette's comments. 98 World Cup winner Yuri Jorkaev showed his support for his former teammate. Ill-timed, ill-thought-out. We're speaking about a World Cup winner. We're speaking about the World Cup winner. NBA star Evan Fournier then posed a question that will be on many fans' lips. What disrespect? How many mistakes from this villainous character before he walks the plank? So, where do the two protagonists stand in all of this? Well, Zidane's entourage have revealed to L'Equipe that they won't react in the heat of the moment, while those close to Legrette have done exactly the opposite. Speaking to L'Equipe, one close confidant said this, the president has a good relationship with Zidane. They spoke recently at the Ballon d'Or ceremony. Noel Legrette knows exactly what he means to French football. By expressing himself in this way, Legret wished to indicate that Zidane was free to go wherever he wanted, that anything is possible for him. Hmm, really? Yeah, seems something must have been lost in translation along the way. For the time being, Zidane will have to bide his time before becoming manager of his beloved French national team, but it remains to be seen if he still feels the same way that he did back in June. I want to, of course. I will be, I hope. One day. When? That's not up to me. But I want to finish off my story with the French national team. I experienced it as a player and it was the best thing that ever happened to me, really. It's the pinnacle. So as I've experienced that, and now that I'm a manager, the French national team is imprinted in my mind. After Deschamps? I don't know. If it's to be, it's to be whether that's now or another time. It won't be now, Zizou, but we're sure your time will come. So what do you think of this ongoing scandal? What do you think of Mbappe's reaction and Noel Legrette's comments? It seems Ferran Torres and Stefan Savic have been watching far too much MMA over the Christmas break because there were some crazy scenes in the final stages of FC Barcelona's 1-0 win over Atletico Madrid on Sunday. The stakes were high for Barca as they faced Los Colchoneros. A win would see them leapfrog Real Madrid into pole position in La Liga. While there might not have been much 
action in terms of goals, it was a combative affair with feisty duels aplenty. And tensions eventually boiled over in the latter stages as Stefan Savage and Ferran Torres became entangled on the halfway line. The pair were captured grappling each other on the floor in scenes that were befitting of a WWE brawl. It had initially looked like Savage prevented the Spaniard from getting back up to his feet, but he quickly retaliated by putting the Montenegro defender in a headlock. And their antics did not go unnoticed, with referee Jose Luis Munuera brandishing both of them with a straight red card. The pair now risk a two-match suspension that will see them miss crucial encounters for their respective sides. Barca were far from their best, but Xavi seemed elated to get over the line with all three points. No, no, no. Tampoco no hemos ganado nada, pero sí es importante. Yo estoy muy contento. Igual no lo demuestro, pero la alegría va por dentro. Creo que es una victoria muy buena, eh, importantísima, da mucha moral y mucha confianza, pero, pero nada ha ganado. O sea, al final son tres puntos y, y que nos da la ventaja de tres puntos a, a, hacia el, al Madrid. ¿no? Y de alguna manera el Atlético ya, pues la ventaja es, es considerable. ¿no? A partir de aquí, pues cautela y a seguir trabajando con, con toda la humildad. ¿no? Eh, no sé, no, no, lo hemos celebrado en el vestuario, pero pero sin más. Meanwhile, over here in England, it was FA Cup weekend, and the third round is when the big Premier League boys come into the competition. The headline fixture on paper probably being Manchester City facing Chelsea. These two sides only faced each other four days ago in the league as well. And the citizens were dominant throughout, sweeping aside the London club 4-0. Riyad Mahrez scored a brace, including a beautiful free kick, and World Cup winner Julian Alvarez also scored from the penalty spot. The quality from Riyad is an... It's everything. He loves to play football. He helped us to break the game. It was always was really good, but always 0-0 always can happen, and a fantastic free kick. And he played an outstanding game, playing wider, played it more narrow. So, yeah, good game. After that result for Manchester City, that now means that Chelsea haven't scored a goal against Man City since the 2021 Champions League final nearly two years ago. Of course, back then, Chelsea was still being managed by the German Thomas Tuchel, and it seems as though fans are pining for those days to return, as his name could be heard being chanted during this bruising defeat. And another of Thomas Tuchel's former teams have been in the news. It has been announced that PSG will travel to Saudi Arabia this month, which could see CR7 and Lionel Messi share the pitch once more. Christophe Gaultier's side are set to face a team that will be made up of combined players from Al Halal and Al Nasser. And CR7 is expected to feature for that side, with the friendly set to take place on the 19th of January. PSG had originally organised the friendly to take place last year, but it was cancelled due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Forced to rearrange and honour their commitment to this event, this game could provide an unwanted distraction for PSG, who already have quite a congested timetable of fixtures. In any case, that's all from us for today. I'll be back again tomorrow. In the meantime, take care, and as always, football forever.